Hello everyone, welcome to a sort of a different kind of episode of Watchtower Examination, one in which I'm going to be just speaking an opinion, because there's really nothing hard and fast about this, and so all I can give is my opinion. I am sitting at my desk and I've decided to respond to some comments, and someone posted a comment asking, that they have not seen any clip where I showed grandparents shunning children because I was speaking to how the Watchtower has actually taught parents to shun their children, children to shun their parents, parents to shun their grandchildren. And of course, I showed the clip where Sonia Erickson's parents are shunning her, in particular her mom. I show the clip where a woman is shunning her son and, of course, the clip that they actually pulled from an annual meeting where they're showing a daughter shunning her mom. So I'm about to explain, ladies and gentlemen, that in the Sonia Erickson video, she reported that she was disfellowshipped for 15 years and in those 15 years, she had zero contact with her parents until she returned with her children to the Kingdom Hall. So, for all intents and purposes, the children were shunned by their grandparents until Sonia returned to the organization. And so, I like to verify information, so I'm going to, I've decided to post the link to the actual video so that the viewer can watch. So what do I do? I go to tv.jw.org where I saw a new governing body update and I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute, do they have a new member of the governing body? Or are they now using one of their helpers to do the governing body update? For obviously, I do not know this member of the governing body that I'm seeing in the small thumbnail. And so I clicked on it. And this was what I saw. Welcome to our update. How did the 2023 annual meeting affect you? Remember the information that highlighted Jehovah as the merciful judge of all the earth? We were thrilled to learn that individuals who died in the flood of Noah's day. No, ladies and gentlemen, when I saw that, I had to wonder, is this religion just no one sick joke? Have they just lost all scruples? And let me remind you that I'm about to present an opinion here because as I have established the beard policy, the no beard policy that this organization had was just utter nonsense because Jesus is portrayed as wearing a beard. So how then could they come up with this nonsensical idea that it's wrong to wear a beard? And the discussion went on. So there is therefore nothing wrong with Mark Sanderson wearing a beard. Except when you think about this. Well, after viewing this program, some might have to contend with strong feelings. For example, some might feel as though they've been vindicated, saying, in effect, this is what I've been saying for a long time. This proves that I was right all along. Others might feel disappointed, saying, in effect, I supported the policy about grooming for all those years. Now, I feel let down. These men know. They know that they're flip-flopping doctrines are affecting the membership. They know that some members of the rank and file are going to feel upset that they stood by this grooming policy for years and that they would feel let down. 
even though there is nothing wrong with wearing a beard. There is also no rule that say that you must. So it seems a little insensitive to me that immediately after making the change, that Sanderson is throwing it in the face of the brothers who would have felt disappointed, who would have felt let down that they stuck with this policy for so many years. It's almost like an insult. It's showing utter disdain, in my opinion, for the feelings of these brethren. Why not allow some time before you do that? Is it that Mark Sanderson could not wait for the policy to change? Was he wishing all along? that he could wear a beard. And let me repeat that I am only expressing an opinion here. <laughs> but I, I'm sorry. I think he looks rather silly. Or maybe it's because I'm not used to seeing him like that. But... <laughs> but <laughs> if not Mark Sanderson... This religion is a joke. <laughs> oh boy. What is wrong with these people? The, the, the thing just looks like one sick joke. And you wonder if the joke is Mark Sanderson or the entire organization. What must it be like for his wife who knows that her husband for all these years had a significant role to play in Jehovah's Witness men not wearing beards. Uh, well, let me not speculate. It's just, it's just really, really, really odd. And what more can I say? This promises to be a short video. But the question really is, is it the Watchtower organization? the entire religion that is now just one sick joke? Or is it just Mark Sanderson and the rest of the governing body? May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.